Hello there again. Today we're going to talk about the average rate of change of a function. And the idea of average rate of change is based on the idea of slope. So what is the average rate of change? So let's take a function I have here, which I call f of x, but it's not a line anymore. It's a curve. So it doesn't necessarily have a fixed slope because the slope is actually changing, as you'd see if you moved on into calculus. So what we want to do is find the average rate of change of this function. What does that mean? Well, think of average rate of change as being the slope. And remember, the slope, what is the slope? Well, it's the change in y over the change in x. Well, that's going to be key to figuring out the slope, uh, the average rate of change of this function. So let's pick two points. Let's say I have a point here, and I'll call that A, and a point here, we'll call that B. So I want to figure out the average rate of change going from A to B. In other words, I want to figure out the slope of this green line here. So we want to figure out the slope of this line here. Well, we know the slope between two points is the change in Y over the change in X. And remember, more specifically, that was y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's how you figure out a slope between two points. Well, what are my two points of this line here? Well, I know my x2 is b and my x1 is a. So we could just replace that with b minus a. b minus a, that's the change in x here. That's the change in x. But what is my change in y? What is y2 minus y1? Well, up here, if we were to take this back to the y-axis, this would be f of b. And if I take this back to the y-axis, this is f of a. So my change in y is f of b minus f of a. And so this is how we find the average rate of change. So this slope is the average rate of change between x equals a and x equals b. So let's take some examples. Okay, suppose I have a function f of x equals x squared, and I want to find the average rate of change of f of x equals x squared between x equals 1 and x equals 2. So I'm going to find the slope of the line joining these two points. So we just found out that the average rate of change is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So the key is what is a, what is b? Well a is usually the first number x value and b is going to be the second x value. Okay, so I know this is going to be f of b minus f of a all over b minus a is going to be 2 minus 1. Um, but what is f of b and f of a? Well f of b is a function value of b which we can see from the graph, and even if we plug in 2, b equals 2, into the function squared, 2 squared is 4. So f of b is 4. And f of a, well, that's going to be a function value at x equals 1. x equals a, in this case, is 1. x equals 1. 1 squared is 1. So I have 4 minus 1 over 2 minus 1. And that gives me 4 minus 1 is 3 over 1, which gives me 3. And so that is the slope of this green line. So the slope of this green line would be 3. Now sometimes this line here that we just found the slope of that's joining these two points, we call that the secant line. So that's a term that you're going to hear, the secant line. And so what we just found was the slope of that secant line that joins x equals 1 to x equals 2.